Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my art channel. I am Diane Dobson Barton. On this channel we talk about art skills and techniques, art products and, and art tools, and sometimes I vlog. Sometimes. What I wanted to talk about today is line. Just exploring it. Just exploring line. But before I forget, <laughs> because I probably will once I get playing with my art materials. Just hit publish on a ebook on Amazon that is basic drawing skills. It takes you through texture, line, proportions, perspective, you know, all those things that you need to know how to do in order to develop a strong drawing foundation. It is available right now on Amazon and I will put the link down below. Shameless plug, I know. But for right now, let's go ahead and go to the overhead and explore line a little bit. First off, what I wanted to talk about was obviously this is a head study, Neil Gaiman. If you're not familiar with him, he's an author. How do you know when you see something that it's smooth and it has a hard surface without touching it? by just looking at it. How do you know if something is hair? There are a number of things that play into that. The lines on the shirt, the way they swoop down here, the hard lines on the eyes, the shape of the ear created by the lines. I really like that little ear right there, by the way. Here's another one where it has fur, but how do you know that it's fur? What tells you that it's fur? Is it how the lines are made? What about the lines in something like this? It's totally different. How do you know a chicken has feathers? A simple, simple little line and what it can create can be extraordinary. Look at something like this. If you look at this drawing by Rubens, for instance, the light lines in here, very fragile. And then how it gets to the bolder, very vigorous marks or how it's consistent throughout the whole thing. The marks are the same type of marks up here as they are here, here, but the texture, the texture is what we're thinking about today, line and texture. So what I did here was I just grabbed some, some tools that I have to make marks with. What I wanna do is think about what kind of marks are possible. If I have a pencil, and this is just a 4B drawing pencil that I can make. Or I can go in very fine. I can make swirls. I can make angles. Oh, looks like a face. I can hold the pencil on its side and get a different kind of mark. I can hold the pencil in my non-dominant hand and see what kinds of marks I can get. What I want to do is just fill up this page making marks. And what happens when you move your hand from down here at the bottom up here to the top where you have less control? What kind of marks does your pencil make then? I could, I could just play and fill up this whole page. What happens when you make a lot of lines close together or far apart? Or what if you cross them? This is fun to do to loosen up before you start a drawing session and it helps you just kind of get a feel again for your tools. Remember as a child when you would sit and you could just scribble. So I would suggest you get a sheet of paper. This is just plain old copy paper. It's nothing, nothing expensive. Just make marks on it. Just loosen up and what happens when you when you move your hand from just the wrist and you don't move your arm, it's just your wrist. Or what happens when you move from your shoulder 
and you don't move your wrist at all. And then we can change tools. And that can give us different types of marks, depending on the tool, of course. Does that look aggressive? Or does it look calm and inviting? Does it look playful? What words could you associate to those marks? I've also got a brush pen here. That's not it though. But I've got a brush pen and that'll allow me to get even different marks. I'm not looking at making shapes or drawing anything. I'm just looking at the marks themselves because how you make those marks impacts your work. But see how each one has its own personality, its own possibility. So I'm going to spend some time just playing and making marks and seeing seeing what what happens and if you're thinking well that's wasting materials that's i'm not going to do that you're not wasting the materials you're exploring them you're seeing what possibilities they hold so just play just get in there and mark up some sheets i really do encourage you to use your non-dominant hand and see what kind of marks that will get you. Obviously you'll have a little less control. But how different does that make the marks look? Do you like them better or worse? So instead of worrying about your paper being precious and each mark has to be just so, so it conveys exactly what you want right off the bat and it has to be perfect and if it's not perfect, it doesn't, it's not worth anything to me. Get in there and just, just play. So that's my assignment for you today. Is to just take some papers, cheap paper, some tools that you've got laying around, and just make marks. Are you starting to feel angry? And so the marks get very tight. And are you letting out some frustrations? Are you feeling dreamy? Just want you to fill some pages up just with marks. Just explore. See what your tools will do. And have some fun. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, if you hit the subscribe button, maybe a thumbs up, little chime. I hope you found this video enjoyable. I'll see you next time and please take care and be safe. All right. Bye all.